Letia Striata, Care Collab Update. Woohoo! For some of us, it's an update, but please welcome, together with me, a new channel to the Care Collab Initiative, Ray Ray's Garden. Welcome, Ray Ray's Garden, to the Care Collab. Ray Ray's Garden will be showing us their Bletias. And joining as well for an update is Fernanda Nacimento Orchids and Succulents and plants and other things. And this update is because of plants and other things who reached out to me to say that his is in bloom, which is awesome. I love it. Thank you, Yoshi, so much for reaching out and saying, you know, let's have a look-see. Can we do an update? I love it. I love it. And here we are. So you can see that mine clearly is not in bloom, but we will be seeing blooms because Yoshi told me so. All the links of the updating and collaborating channels are in my description below. Please go and check them out if you have a moment and let's see what the progress is on theirs since the last time we saw them. Right, mine doesn't look like it's changed much. And I'm happy because that means it's doing well. That means that it's not stressed. I'm happy about that. It's doing well in the setup. I did a repot video because I have never previously experienced Bletillas before. I got this one as a gift from Fernanda Nacimento Orchids and Succulents. New genus, never had them before. So I did a, my potting up video as the first care collab video that I did to see what is the root system all about. And in the bottom, I've got a lot of lava just to crock the pot. And the rest is Akadama. And look at her, them. <laughs> they're looking great. In my opinion, they're looking great. I have been watering regularly. We haven't had much rain. A lot was predicted, not much came. Oh, that had a rhyme to it. Never mind, moving on. So I've watered it regularly because I don't want the Akadama to dry out but mainly with calcium and magnesium to get it settled in to let those roots continue to grow after i've been bothering them on the repot and then always flushing very regularly very often with plain ro water because these guys to my understanding like a lot of moisture around their roots when they're actively growing only now in may when it's gotten a little bit warmer have i started with 160 parts per million of msu fertilizer so that's only been one time at the beginning of May. And then of course, flush, 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 more calcium, magnesium, the second week, and now flush, flush, flush. And next week I will be putting in MSU fertilizer again at 160 parts per million. I think mine looks pretty healthy. All the experts out there, when you see this video, please let me know what you see, what you think. Let's get in a little bit closer because just for observation purposes, when I repotted it, I wanted to keep these corms up here, the tubers or the rhizome, for lack of a better term, layman, exposed and see how plump they are and juicy. It's almost like, hmm, why don't you give me another lead? But these leads were all in the nursery pot when I repotted it. I don't think it has taken on much more size but I do believe that it's possible that next year we're going to see some blooms on mine. Let me know what you think. If you know your bletillas better than I do, what do you see? Do you see a healthy pot of bletilla orchids? Also, let me reach out once again. Care Collabs are open for anybody and everybody. If you have bletilla, you're not on the list. You make videos and you post to any kind of social media platform and you want to join in on the Care Collabs, with regards to Bletillas, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let's get you on the list, just like Ray Ray's Garden did back on the first Care Collab video we did on Bletillas. I love it. And I say it. once again, welcome to Ray Ray's Garden. You are locked in now in the Care Collabs as much as you want to be. <laughs> Thank you also to Fernanda Nacimiento, Orchids and Succulents, for sending me this Bletilla. It's always nice to receive gifts from friends and it's always nice that I can show that it's still alive. And Yoshi from Plants and Other Things, thank you as well very much for reaching out, updating me on yours per email and here we are. So let's all go and check out those channels and see what they have to show. Thank you in the meantime as well for watching my video. Have yourselves a wonderful day.
Please stay safe and take care. Bye.